Hi everybody, my name is Robin Yoon, and today I'm going to talk about two leaders from famous English Premier League soccer teams. If everybody is familiar with soccer, people should know that Chelsea and Manchester United are somewhat of rivals to each other. And today I'm going to talk about the head coaches of two teams who are having opposite results as head coaches, even though the expectations were opposite. First, Chelsea hired Mauricio Sarri as their head coach in this season, and he was expected to bring the best results since he was successful with another team in Italy and grabbed a championship trophy from the league prior. And next is Oli Solskjaer, who is a temporary head coach for Manchester United in this season after prior head coach got fired due to bad records and people didn't really expect it much since he didn't coach a big team like Manchester United before. However, the results were surprising after they've been coaching for this two-thirds of the season. Now I'm going to talk about the differences in, in records. As of March 16th, Chelsea is placed at 6th and Manchester United is placed at fifth of the league. Chelsea has been played 29 games with 17 wins and 6 draws under Sarri, where Manchester United recently had a series of no defeats in 12 games with 10 wins and 2 draws under Solskjaer. Medias have been reacting very differently to these two leaders since Sarri has kept using same players in the same positions even though those players perform poorly and he has better options. However, for Manchester United, Solskjaer has been praised with his records and close relationship with the players, while the prior coach, coach had a worse record and had hatred relationship with the players. So now I'm going to analyze the differences between two coaches and talk about the differences. First, I'm going to talk about communication by two leaders. Even though it is important for leaders to speak, but it is also very important to listen to the followers, especially for team sports like soccer. Also, listening to others is a start of team communication. Sari didn't listen to his players and media, which made him to lose his relationship with the whole team, while Solskjaer listen to his players and he even said he is always trying to communicate and make a closer relationship with the team in one of his interview. Next, difference is being relatable. It is very important for leaders to relate with the followers since it gives more trust in their relationship and the gain this gained trust makes people to follow. For example, Sari didn't really relate it to his fellow players and lead the team in only his way and there was a time that Chelsea's goalkeeper rejected to be substitute which shows the mistrust between Sarri and the player. On the other hand, Solskjaer always tried to relate to the players and it helps that Solskjaer was once a player of the Manchester United. Even during the games, Solskjaer is always on the line to the line to talk with the players and position himself as a player in the game so that he can understand the players better. Finally, I'm going to talk about clear direction. For leaders, it is important to give clear directions for people to listen and follow the directions. The reason why Sarri was popular and how he won the championship in his prior experience is his somewhat complicated and fixed act tactic. He gave the directions to Chelsea players but the tactic really didn't fit to the team, but he was keep ordering the players even though they didn't really understand and wasn't good at it. Also, he didn't give any reasonings behind the orders and positioning of players. In the opposite, Solskjaer is known for his flexible tactics and give easy, clear directions to players. He communicate with players to choose tactics and improve the tactics as they communicate which then the players have full knowledge of the direction. For the end, thanks for listening, and hopefully you guys can learn from these leaders to become a better leader.